after three weeks of barely sleeping more than an hour a night, um, you know, her, her, her brain was really, really compromised. And she became extremely despondent and hopeless. And um, uh, on May 22nd, uh, she took her own life in our, in our bedroom. Um, I when I went to pick my son up after a play date. These people are desperate. They are completely desperate. I know how desperate my wife was. She was, she, you know, if there was anything that could have taken her pain away, her physical pain that she was in from the neuropathy in her feet, she'd still be here. I believe that firmly. My eye was in so much pain that I quite literally fantasized about the million ways that I, I would end my life because I wasn't being believed. There were no treatments. No one, I couldn't talk to anyone about it. Headache never went away. I felt fatigued, I felt drained all the time. And the loss of smell too didn't come back. So, but I didn't know what it was. So I went to see my GP several times. They thought oh, maybe it's the menopause with my age. Um, maybe I'm perimenopausal. So I did all the tests, it wasn't that. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So it wasn't until December, we started to hear the talks of long COVID and the GP said, Maybe it is long COVID, but at the time the clinics weren't set up. So it didn't actually take until April 2021 before I got the actual diagnosis. 